Welcome to the Tech Data Azure training video series. Uh, my name is Sean Taylor, a Microsoft Solutions Architect based within the UK. Uh, in this particular video we are going to go through the creation of the objects required to configure a site-to-site uh, -site VPN for Azure to an on-premise uh, solution. Uh, it's very important this video is actually divided into two parts so uh, part one will be creating the objects uh, and then once the objects have been created in the video for part two we will actually um, connect the Azure subscription to the on-premise uh, solution completing the creation of the site-to-site -site VPN um, using a, a gateway uh, that's running Windows Server uh, 2012 R2 routing and remote access. So uh, to begin with we're going to create the um, objects that are required for the site-to-site -site VPN. So again within the Azure subscription uh, we're going to create a new network service. Uh, this will be a virtual network and unlike the last one where we use the quick create we're going to use a, um, a, a custom uh, create so this will be the TD uh, tenant uh, one uh, virtual network uh, and again um, we will be creating that in Northern Europe Okay, so at this point we're going to bring our own um, DNS server with us. So um, we're going to be using the DNS server that's part of the on-premise um, solution. So in here um, we need to put in the name of our DNS server. Uh, so that's dco1.contoso.com and its IP address. which is uh, 192.168.1.1 um, this will be a um, site to site VPN so you can see it's mapping out the um, appropriate uh, objects within the diagram that we're going to reference So this is going to be for our corporate connection, um, which is Contoso Corp. And our VPN device is the um, IP address that I have on my um, virtual gateway, um, which is 120, oops, 128. Six. and we want to put in um, a, an address space within here that uh, the devices uh, are going to be using so uh, one, two, one, six, eight, one, one. and we want to go with a slash 26 which should give us 1 to 60 so we'll next that one and uh, in this one um, we're just going to add in um, uh, another subnet specifically for our um, gateway So therefore we're mapping the appropriate objects and this is not the creation of the site-to-site -site VPN, these are purely the objects that that site-to-site -site VPN is going to be using, so address spaces um, etc. Now this will take approximately 20 minutes. So. 
um, we will pause the video there and then I'll resume it again once that's been created. Okay, so the uh, VPN gateway <coughs> has been created um, successfully. Um, we can see that as it's gone from uh, being yellow to blue. Um, in the next video, we will actually configure the connection objects between the Azure objects that we've just created and the public IP address that it's now got and the edge device for our uh, on-premise um, solution.